Honor, you're gonna learn unit one B grammar. Present tense contrast. And now, please welcome y'all for tonight, Mr. Fulton. <laughs> All right, welcome all of you guys to our new episode of Learn English with Jose. And um, since I bought this new chair, uh, seems like my dancing for the intro of the show is getting better. <laughs> oh, what a week! And uh, yesterday was the St. Patrick's Day. It is the day for the U.S. Uh, it also kind of a U.S. holiday, and uh, everybody may. Uh, off for one day to celebrate that St. Patrick's Day. So, from from me to Americans, Happy St. Patrick's Day, and uh, welcome you guys to our new episode of Learn English. What we say? This show sponsored by is sponsored by VUS and Oxford University Press. You may not hear this. You may not hear me saying our sponsor uh, sponsors a lot, but we do have it on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. So you can see the two of the most important sponsors of our show. Those sponsors helps us to do the show a lot. So thank you. Uh, so now it is Unit 1B tonight. Uh, we will learn about present tense contrast. Present tense contrast. So what is it about? We'll find out on today's lesson. Open the books into page number five. Page number five, and look at the exercise number one. Look at the picture of Zoe, and uh, what is she doing? What is she doing? So uh, let's guess. Uh, what is she doing? Maybe uh, I can see. Now she is on her laptop, on her laptop, and uh, the man is looking at the laptop. Either they both look at the laptop of a picture of a girl, of a girl. Maybe uh, she is one of the two uh, friends or classmates. I don't know. Maybe, maybe classmates. I guess so. Uh, yeah, so maybe they are uh, thinking about her classmate, their classmates. Okay, okay. So let's take a let's a, take a let's do a reading of this this dialogue. Okay, so for making this conversation more interesting, I will invite one of my best friends to. Help me with this conversation. That is, Mr. Teddy. Say hello to the audience, to to the people who are watching this show, Teddy. Hello. Okay, so this is Teddy, and he will read the dialogue with me. I will play the role of Max, and you'll play the role of Zoe. Okay? You know? Yes, I do. Right. Good. Let's do it. To the conversation. Hey Zoe, you are always using the computer when I need it. It is so annoying. I am chatting with Ella. Hi. Oh, so uh, it is also uh, the three, three, three. Uh, so uh, Max, Zoe, and Ella. Max, Zoe, and Ella. So um. Uh, so imagine that uh, I am Max. This is Zoe. Then uh, I'm Max. This is Zoe. Then the other guy. I will uh, make the sound of Ella. Okay. So let's do it again. Roll a tape. Okay. Hello, Zoe. You are always using the computer when I need it. It is so annoying. I am chatting with Ella. Hey Max, 
What are you up to? Oh, hi, Ella. I am doing my science homework, but I need to look something up on the internet. Uh, on the internet. Ask Ella. She always comes top of the class in science. Ah. Uh, okay. What about this? At what temperature does oxygen change from a gas into liquid? Minus 183 degrees Celsius. Wow! Thanks, Ella! Hey, Ella! Do you fancy seeing Inception at the cinema tonight? Okay, what time does it start? Uh, at 7! I am meeting Cool. I love science fiction films. Can I come? No, you can't. Okay, so that has been it has this has been um no you can't conversation. Thank you, Teddy, and thank you another me for uh the making the voice of Ella. Okay, so good thank you, Teddy. So I have read we have read the conversation, and now, uh, for the exercise number two, underline the, the examples of the present simple and present continuous form in a text. So, um, underline, underline, underline. Okay, so example, uh, you remember that uh, present simple have the structure of subject plus uh, S or verb S or E S then object. Uh, verb S or E S belongs to uh, he she it, but verb with base form it is I you we they. Also, if you do if you it is in the negative form, subject plus does plus not plus verb base uh, does not. Uh, only required to teach it, but I U E they will use do not. It means don't. Also, in the question, does plus subject plus verb base does only use for teach it, but do will use for I U E they. Either with the uh, present continuous, it is the structure of affirmative. Subject plus M is or R plus verb in then plus object. M is R. M I M I M. Uh, is he shit? R I uh you we they. You are they are. You are they are. Okay. You we they. They are. We are. Okay. So I am. We are. They are. You are. He is. She is, it is, plus verb in, and then the negative is also plus not, just like the uh, present simple with the negative form. In the question, it also put M is R right on the top of us, or right on the top of sentence, then subject plus verb ing plus verb ing. Remember, different from present simple. So it has a lot of sentences that are using the uh, present continuous and present simple. So with those structure, you can do this at home. You may not need me to correct this part because this is used for structure learner. <laughs> uh, we are here to find out what is it used for, not to find the what is the structure of it because we have learned the. Pre-intermediate, this the the, the pre-intermediate book, so it all explained in it. So now we will find the usage of present simple and present continuous, and more of that. When we'll be right back with part two of a learn English. What we'll say, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Thank you.